Do these pigs sound happy or sad? European scientists have developed an artificial intelligence algorithm capable of finding out. Their goal is to create a tool that can decode pigs' calls and update farmers on their well-being. Researchers say, once fully developed, it could also be used to label farms and help consumers make informed choices. The AI algorithm was developed from thousands of pig recordings, taken in different settings. What noises do they make when they play? How about when pigs are isolated or in competition for food? And then we started by uh, combining all the recordings we had. LOD Mandel Briefer is a behavioral biologist at the University of Copenhagen and co-lead of the study. So we had this huge database of calls um, that are producing specific emotions, specific contexts by many different pigs and kinds of pigs and, uh, uh, and ages. And then we developed uh, AI, so uh, artificial intelligence that could tell us, um, be trained to tell us if the, the, the calls that we recorded were um, emotionally positive or negative. They found that short grunts typically indicate positive emotions, while long grunts often signal discomfort. High-frequency sounds like screams or squeals usually mean the pig is stressed. For instance, when they are in pain, fight, or are separated from each other. The study of animal emotions is a relatively new field. It recognizes the mental health of livestock as vital to their overall well-being. Most current animal welfare strategies focus on physical health and use systems that monitor these aspects for farmers. Mandel Briefer says she began working on the project in 2016. Now with the explosions of AI methods, it actually becomes more and more easy to do these things. We made a lot of progress in, in our team. The algorithm demonstrated that pigs kept in outdoor, free-range or organic farms with the ability to roam and dig produced fewer stress calls than conventionally raised pigs. Mandel Briefer says the technology could be developed into an app for farmers to enhance their animals' welfare. And the researchers say the information could one day be used by consumers to make informed choices. With enough data, Mandel Briefer says the method could also potentially be applied to understand the emotions of other mammals.